I think in us all there is a desire to grow and to expand and on the blog uh, today I posted, well reposted an older article that I wrote um, about breaking through your ceiling and uh, just some of the challenges, mostly internal ones that we face when we try to do that. Um, you know, you feel this call, the, the pull, the tug on the inside, the strain sometimes to expand. There's something, a yearning there on the inside to become the person that you know you are called to be. Uh, and that doesn't necessarily mean that you're called to, you, that you want to build an empire or conquer a continent or do anything like out in the in the stratosphere necessarily you simply just want to become a better man or a better woman to love in a better and stronger way to speak with more clarity to turn up more consistently to be more fully aligned in your words your faith and your actions but you know sometimes it's that 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 yearning to expand and that desire and that push to become a bigger person can be really hard. You know, there's a, there's a push back on the inside of us um, because there's a status quo that reigns in our soul and wants to keep us very much within um, the comfort zone that we've become accustomed to. You know, it's like there are these invisible bind boundary lines. Um, I, I don't know if uh, but sometimes me and the kids watch these movies with spies in and things like that. And they have those kind of invisible lasers that if you go through them, it sets the alarm off. Sometimes I think that there are invisible lasers, boundaries within our own soul. And when we seek to step beyond what we deem to be acceptable or ordinary or um, safe, those alarms start to go off and, uh, you know, the, the temptation and the pressure is to back off, to cower back into kind of our usual state, our usual way of being, our usual way of turning up. It's like we contravene certain unspoken covenants that we make with the insecurities that um, have built up through the various circumstances that we've faced um, throughout our life, you know. And so expansion is not necessarily an easy thing and cracking the ceiling to really uh, finally see some blue sky takes a lot of effort but the truth is the thinking that brought us this far is inadequate to take us to the next level something has to be changed and you know if we are if we're seeking God, if we're stepping out, if we're if we're looking to expand and we're acting on that desire, the uh, the the mold that we presently dwell in, you know, uh, it really can be, begin to feel very cramped, you know, and yet our comforts claw to keep us covered. They'd, it's almost like they'd rather live in the in a, in a, this small world and small small place and safe experience rather than face the dangers of a bigger world. You know, they'll tell us that, you know, you're going to have to show up differently and take off the painted face. You're going to be exposed for a fraud or a fake. You know, all of the fears that you have are going to be realized and your your failures are going to be th are going to throw you under the bus for all the world to see. You know, you you'll I've, got, I've written here, you'll be the poster boy for the man who tried and failed. And all of these lies, really, I mean, they are lies. And, and, and yet they can um, sound so loud and so insistent at times that we are fearful to take the first or the next step, whatever it may be. And all of these kind of irrational um, feelings, emotions, thoughts, are all, all the time rooted in things that have happened to our life. Because certainly when God brought us into the world, he didn't bring us into the world racked with insecurity. Yes, the nature of sin 
was very present. We were born in sin and we needed Christ to redeem us. But, you know, the the um, the manifestation of that, the growth and the roots of that really uh, they take root as we go through life and circumstances um, we interpret circumstances is more like it. We interpret circumstances in a way that speaks of uh, in a negative manner about who we are as a person. And, you know, we, we, we quarantine in this mediocrity. We quarantine behind doors of our own making, never seeking to really reach to the next level of income, influence, freedom, fire and passion. Um, and and so, you know, in, in a sense, we have to defend ourselves against our own defenses, you know, it's no wonder that this expansion and growth game can be very tough sometimes because we are pushing against the very defenses that we ourselves cultivated and that in the past may have done a very, very good job of keeping us in some manner, yeah, safe from whatever was bombarding our soul. And so there's this inward uh, wrestling going on. And that's why it's so important as you seek to move forward in your creative call, as you seek to move forward in your uh, walk with God and your wor work with other people, that you we invite the Holy Spirit in to speak to us in a powerful way. And um, this is what uh, I wrote. Um, this, this was written a few years ago. And like I say, I've kind of just republished it on my blog. And I, 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 these words were written there. It says, Son, the days you sat in the shadows of fear are over. The light of a new day breaks when you break with the lies that have held you bound. You are no longer the child who was felled all those years ago, who heard the words of teachers mocking or failed in your efforts to rise. You're no longer the slave bound to the past and chained to what you could do in your own limited strength. I, God, am with you every step of this rocky way to carry you if necessary when the going gets rough. Turning up consistently doesn't mean turning up perfectly with your insta-filter life on display. Sometimes, son, it's the dusty leg of the journey that inspires others the most. Bringing fears to the light and to the heat of the day for all to see shrivels them in the glare of how pitiful those lies really are. Fear not and step forward. Do the work and ring, ring out the sweat of your soul on the sidewalk. Transitioning. This was interesting. I love this. Transitioning from knowing to being is indeed hard to accomplish because we know certain truths, but stepping in to actually embodying those truths is another thing altogether. We want to stay in the shade of what we know, but there's, a fr there's the fruit of a tree I want you to eat today that transforms. Its fruit tastes bitter at times to a soul accustomed to hiding, but oh so sweet the results of truth in the inner parts. Let me lead you with my voice each day, one step at a time. Don't be afraid to share the journey for my calling goes beyond this short stay. Let's become together, not by your efforts and straining, although sometimes you will feel the wrestling to remain alone in what you call safety. But my beloved, security is not found in safety. It is only found in me. My voice, every day leading, the house of hearing built on solid rock, ever expanding, ever exploring, ever growing, discovering, and seeing more. Well, thanks for listening. Hopefully uh, it's been an encouragement to you today. If you want to connect any further, you can do so through my website at davidleemartin.com. Have a great day.